Hey everyone, Edward here and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix Windows 11 screen dimming issues. The first solution to take in consideration is to disable adaptive brightness. To do this press the Windows button then type in edit power plan and then select it from the search results. In the edit plan settings window click on the change advanced power settings option which will bring a new window called power options. In here you have to find the display category and double click it to expand it. Here you should have an option called Enable Adaptive Brightness, which you should toggle off for both on battery and plugged in settings. In case you don't have it as an option, it's because this module can vary from one device manufacturer to another. Lastly, just press on Apply and OK to save the changes. Another useful solution is to disable Night Light. To do this press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and in here make sure system is selected from the left pane, then on the right pane select the display category. In here simply turn off the night light setting by clicking its toggle button. You can also turn off Windows Game Mode. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon, then make sure the gaming category is selected on the left pane, then on the right pane click on the Game Mode option. In here make sure that the toggle for Game Mode is turned off and this might potentially solve your issue. And another useful solution is to update your graphics card driver. To do this you have to right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now expand the Display Adapters category, right click the graphics card listed there and select the Update Driver option for it. Now just click on the Search Automatically for Drivers option and Windows will start scanning and installing a new driver if there is one available. Alternatively you can also reinstall your graphics card driver. Just right click the same graphics card, then select the uninstall device option and afterwards right click on the same category and click on scan for hardware changes so that Windows will reinstall a clean version of the driver. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.